Uh, hey guys, going on here, but you can call me Chris. So basically today, um, since I, this is the experimental experiment, of course, as you can see, this is the spawn area. Uh, since I messed up the map quite a bit and I made quite a few mistakes, and since I was kind of curious to see a few things that I didn't quite do, uh, you know, I figured I would just go back in and do a quick overview of the map, even though it's already finished. I just want to tie up all those loose ends. Uh, other than that, I don't know if you can see that nice little shaded heart. Right there. And I don't know if you can hear my little brothers yelling. Maybe I'll put music in the background to hide that. Mm. Uh, but other than that, we're just gonna... Here, I'll actually, I'll fly over, do a quick little overview, just to show you how massive this map is, and how crazy it is that Kevin actually, like, made all these. Jeez, just so many buildings and stuff. God damn. It's mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing. Purely mind-blowing. And then that's the nether portal, and then it takes ya... Over here, and then this is near the end of the map, kind of. Then the rest of it's like in the end and such. Anyway, so we'll head back to the starting area, and we're just gonna pretty much do the opposite of everything we did, and you know, kind of uh, recall all the mistakes that I made and fix them. Hopefully, at least. I don't know. Maybe there'll still be a few things that I'll miss out on. But other than that, yeah. Uh, Kevin, yeah, yeah. Destroy your stuff. All right, let's go and do pretty much the opposite of whatever the hell I did. All right, so are you a girl or boy? So you go in here. You already get ending one. You screwed up the goddamn story. That's what you get for being a rebel. Then if you go through the girl thing, you get told, no, no, you're a boy. Just, yeah, you go through the other door. So you go through the boy door. Um, and then he asks, please go through the right door. Now, I actually went through this door, but, uh, and since I'm a genius, I didn't even realize it, but he actually wanted us to go, like, in the direction right, so technically this is the right way. Clever girl, I mean, boy. But I did not go through this way, so I want to see exactly what happens down here. False, this is the left door. Ah, there you go, so, yay, I, I accidentally outsmarted Kevin, kind of. Alright, so, do you think you can trust me? I said yes, so that, and then it says good, so what happens if you say no? How rude. Huh, okay. And then I guess it just takes you the same way. Enough questions. Uh, what would you like to play? Alright, this is where I really made a lot of mistakes. Maze, uh, this is the parkour. So I freaking did this like six times, right? I go, I jump the parkour, do the super cool parkour skills. I do parkour, man. And, uh, so yeah, you know, you make it up here, here, here. Then you make it up here. And I thought this was the end. I thought he was, like, being a super big troll pants. And being like, yo, <laughs> there's nothing up here. You just did that for no reason. So I was, I was just fumigating. But it turns out that I, I, I don't even know how I was supposed to know this. But, um, you actually have to jump. Whoa, whoa. whoa. You actually have to jump right here. And apparently there's supposed to be a piece of glowstone to point that out right here, but god damn it, Kevin, you you messed up, man, you messed up. Anyway, so now you jump over here, 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 and I did not see this, like, I don't know how, the brightness must have been so weird that I didn't see this at all, man. God, this is so not cool, bro. Ah, uh, so yeah, I missed that lever, which pretty much, and that was like the first big mistake that I made. Then the second big mistake was with the maze. I thought he was trolling us with the maze too, because it's so, like, hard to know whether or not he's trolling us in this. Anyway, I'm just gonna freaking because it turns out this maze is hard to maneuver, because, like, I was literally roaming around in there for 10 minutes and I didn't find the ending. So I'm just gonna, you know, cheat my way through, because it would probably take me a really long time to actually find the ending. Ooh. Alright, so, uh, basically, you go from, so, uh, sorry. You basically start over here. Right, right. So I just place the obsidian to identify where it is. So you start here, and uh, whew, you go, 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 
just it's I, I like when I was playing the map I thought it was just a small map and I, I, everything I was looking at I was just going in like small circles uh, and you know some with with this map it was really hard to tell whether or not he's tricking me or not just because it's a sarcastic map so you never know if he's messing around but yeah he was being honest and if you if I wandered around maybe a bit longer I would have found it and I would have been all legitimate and stuff I would could have done everything legit, but nope. I'm a cheetah. I'm a cheetah. So then, you know, you go mini survival. I did fine. Uh, this is the puzzle. Yes, with the with the red stones and the stuff. I think I did this right. I think. I don't know, but uh, I think I did. And uh, other than that, then we move on. We get all these dogs. And then you get to the more experimental questions. Yeah. Alright, so he asks, did you like the game you played? And then you kind of have to say yes, because no is blocked off, which is hilarious. So then, uh, I don't know what that said. And then, by the way, are you older than 18? So if you go through here, which is, I think you are under 18, then you get these signs. And even if you say you're 18, he knows, he knows, secretly, you're under 18. And he calls you a little boy, a little boy, a little boy. Alright, so then he asks, uh, since you're a little boy, use a magic trick. Magic trick was stupid. Yeah, <laughs> uh, just kind of stupid. And then we go through. And there's one other thing that I was curious about. Once we finally finish with this. Okay, there's a magic trick. Alright, here. This was what confused me. Uh, I remember I destroyed the sign, but uh, I believe this one said uh... Oh, it asked uh, did you like the magic trick and uh, this this was no This was yes. I didn't go into yes. So I want to see what this one leads to ah number two magical ending <laughs> So this was the missing ending that I never found so cool cool All right so then we go through here, we got the Paco training house, and uh, just go through here, and then we get to this weird construction area, it's hard to see in, uh, which wasn't the part that I got stuck at, I don't believe. Alright, now he says, wait, no, screw you, you just run along, who cares, who cares, because I can fly, alright. Then, you go over here, and be a rebel and break the blocks. And we. How was your day? And he asks. You can either say good, which is bad, because he doesn't like it when you like your day, so that's why it's red. Or you could say that you had a bad day, and that's good, because he doesn't want you to have a good day. So if you have a bad day, that's lovely. If you have a good day, that's just that's just pure awful. That's just horrible. Either way, they lead to the same thing. And then you, uh, he noticed you sucked at everything. I bet you can't even pay attention. So we're looking. There's brick. We hit, we had to see the brick, right? Yeah. Uh, the brick stair, I believe it was. The brewing stand. So if we can find a brewing stand, yeah, right there. And then there was like, what was it? Um, I forgot what stone it was. Uh. I believe it was sandstone, whatever, even if it isn't, doesn't matter. Then you go through, you think, ha, huh, I saw I paid attention. You didn't, huh? Please answer the question, which object was not in the room? And, yeah, so, okay, so it was glass panes. Glass panes were in the room, so all these things were in the room. Either way, whichever way you go through, um, it brings you to the same place. Uh, you think you would got it right, and you're, you're like, oh my god, I'm a genius. But then he's like, then he's all like, uh, yo they were all the same or they were all in the room so you're dumb and then you go through here more little training course stuff and yeah this is the part that uh, confused me right here there's a block placed right here um what i think i was supposed to do is go right over here and then i think this jump is possible oh my god this jump is possible okay so i was dumb i don't know how i didn't see that but to be fair this is a really hard jump i'm surprised i got it on my first try I thought that was an impossible jump, but apparently not, so that took like 30 minutes for me to uh, uh, even like decide to cheat on. Oh well. Uh, so then you head your way through all this, all this, all this, all this, blah blah blah, I don't even, I, there's probably an actual way to get through it, but YOLO. 
Alright, so then you make it here, you do the parkour, I did the parkour, and I don't think there's a point to the parkour, but I never did figure it out, so, let's just examine quickly, you make it onto here, and what it confused me, why is this here, is there any point to that, I don't think so, doesn't look like it, if you make it up here, I don't think there's a point to that, either, Oh, no, I don't think there's a point to this parkour right here. So then you jump up to here, go over here, and then more parkour. Yay, my favorite. And then so, you do that. This is a real big pain in the ass to do this one. Make it up here. <laughs> oh, man, it took me so long to beat that one. Uh, and then you go down here, and it's like, yo, guess what? You're going to an unfinished project in the nether. Yeah, probably gonna die, so you must be safe. But, uh, I was a YOLO swag rebel, and, uh, I saved. Oh, there we go. So, we head on over here, and there's nice, 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 just pure, awesome sauce, flowing lava. I'm gonna actually break out here, because I'm kind of curious to see what the nether around looks like. Let's see. Oh, it's, oh, it's a super flat, okay, I didn't, I... I actually didn't know you could do super flat uh, mode in the nether. That's cool. Alright. Um, so nothing to look at then. Alright. We go in here. And he tells us, yeah, just, it's broken. You have to fall to your death. And you kind of do. Yeah, there's no other option. You just fall through here. And it's like, oh, I'm going to die. No, you didn't die, obviously. Um, so then you go. Uh, and then for some reason, weird music started for me. And he tells you there's no escape. So then you make it to this part, and this took me so long to realize, when you flick this lever right here, blocks come out. And I wasn't sure, I, I had no idea what I was receiving, and I thought it, there's no way it could have been blocks, because, like, I don't know, it just didn't seem right to me. But after a while, I realized that blocks were coming out, so, you know, you use the blocks, you place them, you make it over the lava, hopefully you don't burn to death, and then uh, you make your way up the stairs. And then I, I like, I kind of like this trap that uh, he made for up here. Kinda liked it. Uh, oh yeah, this was funny. Think fast. You think, oh no, the pressure plate, something bad's gonna happen. No, nothing happens. He's just trolling you. Lol, lol. Absolutely nothing happens. Uh, okay, and then you go, this trap I liked. So basically, there's a pressure pad right there. As soon as you step on it, it recedes. So you step right here and pfft, right into the lava. So basically, the point is you have to you have to just nick. Oop. You have to just uh, just barely tap the pressure pad. Bleh. It goes away. It retracts, and then you do the jump, the epic jump. And he's like, "Oh, it was, wasn't that fun." And you're like, "No, that wasn't fun at all." And then you go back here, and it's like, "Oh, here we go, guys. We're time traveling now." All right, and then we go here. This was cool. I really like this. Please wait while I construct the area. And then this door's not opening, and I'm like, what the hell? Come on. Okay, am I really... Is this the end of the map or something? What the hell's going on? Come on. Really? This is the end of the map? Are you serial right now? Well, this sucks. I'm gonna go in the timeout corner now. This is boring. God damn it. Why is everything so boring now? Oh, oh, he was he was actually wanting us to wait. So basically, there's like some kind of awesome sauce redstone contraption that made the doors open like after one minute of waiting. So that's cool. Anyway, simulation, simulation room, whatever thing, Bob. All right. So if you go down here and uh, yeah, whatever you enter here, you find ending ending numero trois. Uh, trust. So those are the three other uh, endings, or maybe four, I don't know how many there are, but we've already found three of them. And then everything in this room seems pretty useless to me, except I accidentally stumbled into uh, this little thing right here, this little hole. So now we're nearing the end of the map, and it's like, yo, stop, you're entering the flashback hallway! Uh, and then there's a bunch of random, really, I don't know, a lot of them are, I, I don't even remember seeing that. There's that one, there's that one I don't remember seeing, but it looks cool. This one, which I don't know what it's supposed to be. This is just a replica of the spawn, which I liked. And then, you know, you head back in, and it's like, okay, that was kind of stupid. And then, so, stop, you never go to this part in your life. You will end in a loop of one room. 
And this was the mo this was like probably my favorite thing ever 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 seeing in Minecraft. I don't know how I overlooked it, but as you I don't know if you just saw, but we actually just passed a little exit, and I was I was the blind little Bobby. Okay, uh, I just kept on jumping through without even seeing that. I guess I'm a, I'm a little bit oblivious, and I just jumped to the ends, you know, whatever, made it to the end, and look what it says, nine thousand and one. So we're over nine thousand, never ending, schmever ending. Hmm, and I was kind of confused for a little while after I retrace my steps I go like oh what the hell man this there's no way it ends like that really are you ethereal are you super ethereal right now and so after jumping through a bit I'm like oh oh that's so genius I'm so jelly of your swag right now so whatever he says yeah don't make it worse y'all we done now you're gonna screw yourself all right, more parkour. My parkour, my parkour. And after a little while of doing that, he says goodbye. No, this is pretty much the end of the map. Thanks for playing his map and uh, find the three endings, which I did. And uh, I wrote that Kevin is of the homosexual nature. All right. Um, so you grab a step, go through to the end. Yeah. Place the step, whatever. I probably forgot to do that. And then you go up, up, up to the top. And I kind of forget, is there something? Oh, this, yeah, so this is legitimately the end of Minecraft. So you just jump in this and they talk about you. So other than that, hopefully you guys enjoy this whole adventure map, adventure map experience. There will be more to come. Next, I'm doing a map called Entry 495, which I think you guys will like. It's a bit different than this. And uh, as you can see, they're talking about their Creamy Twinkie right there on the screen. I see the player you mean. Creamy Twinkie? Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. So the creamy Twinkie can read their thoughts. Uh, other, Anyways, so thanks to Kevin for making this awesome map. He uh, actually wants to make a custom map for me, which that would be that would be infinity and beyond awesome sauce. I would have to, matter of fact, I just, I, I just might have to replace this sign. Uh, but yeah, so if Kevin can actually do that, I, I kind of want it to be a surprise, maybe like a bit of parkour, uh, with a bit of like question airing, uh, and stuff like that, that would be awesome sauce, and uh, yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed, hopefully Kevin, uh, you're having a nice little night now that I squeaked in this episode that I'm doing right now, and uh, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next little let's play that I'm planning on doing. Bye guys, I love you. Good night, Kevin. Oh shit. Got the shit right in the camera. You're cool. Ha, silly goose. You're not straight. <laughs>